Hello everyone, I am Bharat Singla and welcome to Courtship. Here you will find everything to learn and master competitive programming. So you know the drill with YouTube. If you have not subscribed yet, then make sure to subscribe to the channel to not miss any of the future videos. Great. I'll be sharing a few practical applications of bitwise operators and how you can integrate them into your code to speed up its execution time. So let's jump straight in. So the first is to check if a number is odd or even, basically to check its parity. So it's pretty basic to do it with the modulo operator. All you do is this condition, right? If n modulo 2, if n's remainder when divided with 2 is 0, it's even. And if it's 1, this means it's odd, right? But it's also possible to achieve to achieve the similar thing using bitwise operators and the way we do it is what we do is we take the last bit of n right and check if that is one or not right so let's say n is equal to 5 right or let's maybe take up a random number let's take it to be 10 so let's to understand this let's revise how to translate a number to its binary version so the way we do it is we we take two steps in each process the first is we take its remainder with 2 so 10's remainder with 2 is 0 and then we divide it by 2 so it becomes 5 then again we do the same thing this time the remainder is 1 and the number becomes 2 this time the remainder is 0 the number becomes 1 the remainder is 1 and the number becomes 0 and here we can stop so this is all the remainders, the sequence of remainders that we get. And if we reverse this, that is 1, 0, 1, 0. This is the binary form of 10 in base 2. Right. So after taking the remainders, we flip it. So can I say that this, the last bit in its binary form is simply the first remainder that we got with 2. Right. Because this bit is this bit. This becomes this bit. This is this one here and this is this one, right? Because we are reversing the sequence. So the first remainder we get with 2 is the last bit of the number and which is also equal to 1 if the number is odd and 0 if the number is even. As simple as that. So if the last bit, meaning the first remainder is 0, then we can say that the number is even, otherwise it's odd. And to check if the last bit is set or not, remember from the previous video where we count the number of set bits, what we do is we take the bitwise AND of n AND 1. So if n is let's say 1 0 1 0. So it's bitwise AND with 0 0 0 1. So this will come out to be these two bits. So basically all these bits here are always going to be 0 because 0 AND 0 is anything is 0 only. Whereas specifically for the last bit if it's 0 then it will be 0. If it's 1 here right. So it will be 1 AND 1 will be 1 here right. So simply taking the bitwise AND of n and 1. So if this is equal to 1, right, meaning that the last bit is set, meaning that the number is odd. And if this is 0, right, then the number is even. So instead of using the modulo operator, I highly recommend to use these. I, I highly recommend to use this bitwise AND operator. And I don't think it reduces the readability of your code a lot. Right, whereas it speeds up your code's execution time. So this was the first property. This was pretty basic to understand, nothing too complex here. Right, and coming on coming on to the second one is to compute 2 to the power n. So this is our task that we have to achieve, and this looks seemingly hard. Right, the simple way to do is, is to have let's say a variable answer that will initially be 1, and you loop or uh, or maybe you loop n times right and then you multiply answer with 2 right so this way in the end answer will be nothing but 2 into 2 into 2 n times that is 2 to the power n right so this is the naive way and there's obviously better algorithms that is the exponentiation using recursion fast exponentiation or binary exponentiation whatever you want to call it and that will do this in log n time instead of n time right 
but all these still take up some of your time to write them down right and i am going to show you a really simple one is to simply write one left shift n so remember from the video on left shift and right shift this is nothing but one followed by n zeros in binary right and this is nothing but right so this will contribute one this will contribute two this will contribute four but since all of these are unset they are off so that's why these are not added in our answer the only thing when we are converting this to decimal is added is this bit which is at the nth position so this number one followed by n zeros is nothing but two to the power n right and again when we discuss that mathematically instead of this logical kind of a proof a left shift b remember was nothing but a into 2 to the power b so one left shift n is nothing but one into 2 to the power n that is 2 to the power n so no need to write any loop no need to do anything just write one left shift n and you are done so these are some really nice properties of bitwise operators there are many 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 more like to set a bit to unset a bit and maybe find the number of set bits that we have already discussed and there are just so much that you learn gradually but these are the two most important one and the most useful one as well so after you learn this i hope that you even stop using those modular operators because modular operator is really slow and this is slow for the developer because it takes some time to write that power function right and that is pretty slow as well whereas this is a one liner solution and this is just going to speed it up so much more so now let's code these two as well right so all we simply do is let's say i output one left shift n right and let's also output some diagnostic statement uh, two to the power two to the power let's say n is is one left shift n so this should hopefully give us if let's say i pass in five right and i input that as well right so this will hopefully output 2 to the power 5 that is 32 and let's also output if it's even or odd so if n and 1 1 or we can simply write and n and 1 only right no need for this condition because anyways 1 is true and 0 is false right and if this is the case then uh, let's output n or let's output odd right otherwise let's output even wait oops fine so let's see what we get so for 5 we should get odd and 2 to the power oops okay so we have to input this right so we get yes so let's also output some space here yes so 2 to the power 5 is 32 and 5 is indeed odd so let's try it on some other number let's say 10 right so yes 2 to the power 10 is 1024 and 10 is even so that's how these two go and this concludes the not only the video but the playlist as well if you have any queries then as always you can always leave down a comment in the comment section and if you enjoyed the content make sure to smash that like button and share it with all your friends whom you think may find it useful because subscribing liking commenting these are all just a click away whereas creating such quality free content takes up a mammoth time and effort so i hope you understand this and this is bharat singla from codeshift signing off for now and i will see you next time